So the NBA schedule uh, released today. What did you like about it? I liked about it is right off the bat, you're going to be seeing some big time rivalries. Opening night, you got the Sixers heading to Boston. Let's see what happens there as the Boston Celtics are defending Eastern uh, Conference champions. Followed by, of course, LeBron and the Lakers going to Golden State for you know the ring ceremony for the Warriors. So that's the TNT doubleheader opening night. Next night, ESPN will have the Knicks going to Memphis. And then another big matchup of Dallas at Phoenix. So you got some nice matchups there early on the first week. But another intriguing one, Pharrell. Opening night, Zion Pelicans to Brooklyn to play, whether it's KD, Kyrie, Nash, Marks, some, all, none, whatever. They go play there. But the one thing I keep going back in my head is, I keep thinking for all, maybe I'm crazy. I think the Pelicans are a good play at, to line up to maybe trade for, you know, Kevin Durant, being that they have the young superstar and Brandon Ingram. They got draft picks. They got other young pieces that they can move, and you can slide KD right to that small forward spot. I'm telling you, don't sleep on the Pelicans maybe making a move. So uh, they've already said that they won't trade Brandon Ingram for Durant. Are you buying that? Hell no. I, I'm, I'm not. Because if this is your chance and this is your window, you're going to go for it. You're going to go for it right now. And you could swap those guys. And I don't think you have to give up a ton more because of how good Brandon Ingram has been. I think there's a lot of smokescreen going on, Pharrell. I think there's smokescreen with the Durant stuff. I think there's smokescreen with the Donovan Mitchell stuff. This is all smokescreens. At the end of the day, do the Nets want to walk into training camp with that circus? I don't care what anybody says. It makes no sense to bring these guys in. They got to move them, and they got to move them fast. 